very much. I'm always so happy to see you because you really have such a true enthusiasm for the Clarks brand. Not only the heritage going back <laughs> however many years. 190. What? That's crazy. It's insane mm -hmm. because you think of all the companies out there, like even like, you know, soft drink brands haven't even been around Here since that and long. gone. Yes. Right. Or haven't really had a heritage like that. And you really started wearing the brand back when you were like 16 years Literally, old. Literally still mm -hmm. remember it was a wedge, slip on sandal, mm -hmm. loved it with little flowers on it. Yeah. And so you bring your knowledge and expertise <laughs> of the brands you. and all the different ways that they help to make your feet comfortable. And we're going to jump in because we have different ways that we will make your feet comfortable during the show. This very first shoe is a very sweet shoe. It's a great way to transition mm -hmm. from now into the fall months. It's a slip-on shoe done in leather. It's called the Blanche Dottie. So we're going to explain what the names mean because the names aren't for nothing. The names actually do have meanings. $59.96, a very affordable way to get into the brand, a 272-898. Two colors, we have the pewter that you see here, which is a nice muted metallic choice. And then we also have the black, but the black also has almost a hint of a, like a wash to it. It, just to yeah, give just it some a little extra sheen. brightness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they both have this gorgeous gunmetal buckle accent. To me, this is just that go to ballet flat. And I think a lot of us, including me, struggle with the ballet flat because it's actually called a dead fit, which means there's no wiggle room. What? I've never heard yeah, of that before. Yeah, ballet flat in the industry, in it's the a dead industry, fit. It's a dead fit because it's like either it fits you right out of the gate, gotcha. or just there's just not a lot of wiggle room. It works and how, it how we worked around that is we put cushion soft inside the footbed, that's gonna give you softness from the first step. It's never gonna flatten out over time. And we've actually put like a picnic table over the footbed, see it, you know, go down and then come back an hour later, 45 minutes later, and it just popped right back up. Love and it. I think that's the beauty of this style. Plus, you still have that ballet flat look, but there's actually a half inch heel. So you're definitely not stuck on the ground and it's got almost like a squared off toe shape. Mm -hmm. I think that's just very elegant. You know what? It really is kind of delicate. It's not quite an almond. It's not quite mm -hmm. a square. It's not quite a round. Right. It's something right in between all of that. And so it has a very expensive, yes. very elegant kind of effect to it in the front. And I think to get this for $59.96, a great way to get into the brand is awesome because I think a lot of us need to have a shoe like this in our wardrobe right. but because of that issue you talked about how traditional ballet flats fit mm -hmm. they're not comfortable for a lot of people so this gives you that illusion exactly. without any of the hardships that usually go along oh, with that so kind of shoe. True. And look I love how our ladies are dressed. Colleen's wearing just that effortless everyday skinny jean sweater and then bam she has that ballet flat. Oh Maybe gosh, she just so doesn't cute. need a boot. She doesn't need a heel. She just wants something to slip in and go. No joke I keep a pair of shoes just like this by our front door and I don't usually wear them out of the house. They're adorable and I can, mm -hmm. but they're just like more like the running errands and I'm yeah. wearing them right now to QVC. Yay. This is that same comfort. You leave it by the door, you slip in, you've elevated your outfit, you look pulled together and then Kylene looks totally career, work appropriate. You know what? Uh, to your point, I mm -hmm. think their outfits are fabulous because yeah. Colleen is sort of like transitional, getting a little bit into fall, not necessarily ready for the boots yet. Right. No socks, jean, cute sweater. And then we've got Kylene who's wearing it with tights. I mean, with tights and a dress or tights and a skirt, this is an absolute mm -hmm. winner because it makes the foot look so sweet. You're and so true. And again, I really think it's that way that we did the toe box. It's square and a little rounded on the corners. I always say that at the manicurist. I like square and just like a little round on the corners. Square and a little <laughs> round. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I'm quite, it. quite particular with the manicure because the guys zoom in so mm -hmm. tight. Would that be squound? Square and round? Would that <laughs> love be the technical? Yes, totally. it's, that doesn't quite have Do the ring that I, I was hoping for. I think that's actually something. I'm not even joking. I think that's I've heard a shade. Of I've oh, right. Maybe I'm thinking that. Maybe that. Maybe that. <laughs> I don't that. Know. Um, but I also love that you have that leather across the toe box. There's so much leather in this shoe. There's so many accents from that great little mm -hmm. buckle detail. This is just decorative. It's not it's not a functioning buckle. And then that cushion soft technology. Again, you know, if you're someone who, you know, a flat just isn't for you, we do have other styles in the show. But if you're That's someone true. who 
loves the look of the ballet flat and has always wanted to try the look of a ballet flat but doesn't want to feel the gravel beneath their foot mm -hmm. wants a little bit more of a sophisticated polished style and you I know would what? go here I would go here too also because of the fact that you've chosen the gunmetal trim on these yes. shoes it's not silver it's not gold right. it's not meant to necessarily sort of scream out from the shoe it's just sort of meant to give you a metallic accent but blend into the rest mm -hmm. and also you mentioned how you know we've got heels and other things right. coming up later I wanted to zip over this way because I am Adorable. wearing one of the hot picks in the show which are the boots that are coming up but here here's the look of the flat I just want you to see this for a second because a lot of flats look very uncomfortable and they actually don't look very feminine on the foot look at how I can wiggle my toes right. and the shoe is already moving straight out of the box mm -hmm. it follows with me but it also doesn't create like these a lot of belly flats have massive right. gaps on the side that look weird when you walk this doesn't, it just feels really good on the foot and just is an incredibly feminine little shoe. You know, I even love how you're wearing it because to me, when I see you in the boot, which is incredible and awesome and so excited Two we're bringing looks. it. Yes, it's like a little more rugged, a little edgier. Mm -hmm. And then the ballet flat's just that understated elegance. I used to commute to work. I mean, I took the subway from 14th Street to 168th Street. Oh then gosh. I hauled across a bus terminal, took a bus to New Jersey. Oh and gosh. every meeting, every fashion show, I'd have to do the reverse. It was crazy. I always had a ballet flat, which honestly wasn't that wasn't really that comfortable. But right. that's what I ran through. And then I'd switch when I got to work. With a style like this, you wear this all day. You don't switch. And you know what? It does come in a choice of, uh, or in this case, oh no, it's medium what's only. However, it is the last day you're seeing it at the featured price. So that price will be expiring at the end of the 